Hello friends, my name is Elapo of the Big Crafties. In this video, I'll show you how to cover a molded fascinator base with fabric. So I have molded this already with paper mats. I have stiffened it and it's now dry. So I have my fabrics. This is doll face sequence and I have my glue and some pegs to hold them down while working. The reason why I'm using two fabric is because I feel the black color of my molded base will still be visible after placing the sequence. So using two fabrics like that will not uh, show the color. So I'm just going to measure my mold round to know the amount of wire I will be using to finish up this. So I just measure it round like that. For my own base, I have about 17, so I added one and a half inches to overlap my wire. So I have cut out my wire and I used my cello tape to wrap the parts that they overlap. Now I have inserted the wire into my base, I have showed this in my other video so I am just going to use my needle and invisible thread that's fishing line to sew it to my base but what I am doing here is I am trimming off the edges, I want it to be very close to the wire. Now I'll be tacking the wire to the base using fishing line, needle and fishing line. So I'll just take the needle through under the wire like that, bring it out, then come back and take it through on top the wire. That's like you're doing a zigzag form under the wire, then you bring it back on top the wire. So just like that, I'll be doing that round. I'm done sewing the wire to my base and I want to cover my fabric. I start with the doll face before I use the sequins. Having known the quantity of fabric that will be enough to cover my mold, I'm just going to cut it out like that. I repeat the same for the second fabric. I just use that one to trace it out. Now I start gluing the fabric using UHE glue. I apply glue around the edges of the base like that. Now watch the way I'm doing this. I start from one side. Then I move to the opposite side and I come to this side, move to the opposite side before I finish up the remaining sides. You know, like you're doing north, south, east and west, it makes your work very, very neat. You understand? So I'm just going to finish up gluing my fabric to the base and make sure that the edges are very smooth. So just watch what I'm doing.
You can join us on our Facebook group at Dolly B Fashion and Craft and post any of your finished projects. Relate with others and even ask for guide if you have any design you have issues or need assistance on. Can you see how I'm working on the edges? I really, really took my time. You need to be very, very patient so you can have a very neat job. Now, as you can see, I am trimming off the excess fabric and I'm just going to finish up. Just watch what I'm doing. I'm done gluing the first fabric, so I move on to the second fabric using the same procedure. If you are new on this channel, this is Dolly B Crafties. Kindly subscribe and tap the notification bell so you get more of this. You get notified whenever I post a new video. So I'm true guys, I just take off the pegs, I use an holding my fabric down to my crown or to my base so and you just cover the inner edges and cover with petersham ribbon, bias or any good trimmers with glue. I won't be doing that here because I'll be using this particular crown for something else. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.